they went missing, they would at least leave some traces, right? These people simply evaporated from the face of the earth. See? So maybe it's like a suicide helpline. <laughs> Quite literally, they help you with suicide. The grocery store owner nods towards the shop's door. You see several posters on it, all of them missing person notices. But, <laughs> well, I reckon those people might not necessarily have anything to do with this radio station. I think so too. How could a radio station have such power? It feels like a silly rumor. Just like a silly rumor. What's your take on this? Well, look, she works at a radio station. She's a popular radio host. With popularity comes controversy. It's probably just a silly rumor. That's We're what just I looking said. looking for something to keep us entertained. Look at me. Keeping the shop open so late into the night. It's it's so tedious. It's nice to listen to some idiot messing around on the radio to pass the time. Those who vanished, most of them are idle people who threw money around all day and night on radio shows and hosts. It's not surprising that they attracted attention. Rumor has it that these people all received a call before they disappeared. But the Public Security Bureau insists there are no records of these calls. You walk out of the grocery store and the owner behind you turns up the volume of the radio a bit more. The voice of the host echoes faintly, causing a tingling sensation on your back. Thank you for your call. Thank you for sharing your experiences and insights with us. People often feel anxious, becoming frustrated and wanting to vent. You are welcome to call us at any time. After leaving the grocery store, you walk down the street. There should be a phone booth around here. It looks a bit old, but because it's transparent and covered with graffiti, it doesn't look so dreary. Now think about the story the store owner mentioned earlier and start to wonder if there might be many powers at work. So what are you gonna do? Call them just to get that call at 3 a.m. so you could get into the mania situation? I thought the whole point was, I think in phone in, they said that once you get a call, you have a mania incident rather than you getting disappeared. But apparently people are also disappearing. Well, mania incident, I thought like their mania goes out of control or something. I'm on vacation, I shouldn't think about work. As you try to dispel the thoughts of work in your mind, you're jolted by a sudden ring on the phone. You jump in surprise. When you look up, you realize that you're trapped inside the small phone booth. How the hell? The small space is filled with echoing rings and deathly silence. The public telephone appears before you like a phone book abandoned by the world. How the hell did he get trapped in there? Did he get teleported in there? Or like illusion walked in there? Let's look forward to the next call. Where is the radio voice coming? There's no radio in here. The voice isn't loud, but to you it's like a thunderous clap, actually. I always forget to do this in events. Like, look at this beauty. This scene looks beautiful. No, 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 it looks so beautiful to me specifically because I used to use these types of phone back in the day. When you need to make a call, not all the time you had a phone, but these were around and holy shit, there's fucking, those fucking circular wounded wires, the little coin exchange button down there where the coins come out and shit. It's fucking, it's fucking hard. I like this. It's not exactly the type I used, but it's very much similar. I also really like this, uh, the buttons. They used to be like concave and like your finger would like neatly sit into them and they made these nice clunk clunk sounds when you clicked on them. Man, I'm getting a nostalgia fucking uh, nostalgia train. You're already a distance away from the grocery store and the booth door is tightly shut. There's no way you should still be able to hear the radio station from there. But if you don't pick up, it's just gonna continuously ring. Pick it up. Don't be scared. It's not a big deal. The old public phone suddenly rings. Your mind flashes back to those strange calls at the bureau. The one known as ghost calls. The first reaction is to leave the phone booth, but it's as if someone is holding the door shut from the outside. You can't make it budge at all. Damn it. 
You grit your teeth, a faint red light emanates from your palm as you prepare to use the power of the shackles. Let the phone ring, answer the phone, pick up and hang up immediately. Huh. That's interesting. I don't think these choices really matter to be honest with you. But what's the point of ringing the phone? Because we're just gonna be stuck in here. If you answer the phone, which is gonna get into the whole events, which what we actually want to be honest with you. Pick up and hang up immediately just to annoy someone. What's the point? Hmm. I'm choosing between the first and second option, letting it ring or answer the phone. The only reason I'm even debating this is because you prepare to use your power of your shackles. So that means he's was going to I don't know, man. Damn. You know what? When we do the no, actually, I'm never gonna come back then. Put your teeth of red faint line and nice frame palm as you prepare to use the power of the shackle. Hmm. You know what? Let the phone ring. You don't want to answer the phone and stare at it as you continue to ring, letting the shrill sound echo inside the phone booth. But the ringing shows no sign of abating. Your ears are starting to hurt, your consciousness gradually becoming blurred. At this moment, a soft laugh echoes in your ear. <laughs> Aren't you going to answer? Aren't you going to use shackles? You're just about to use shackles. That's the only reason I chose this option, honestly. You also it breaks out on your back of your neck. You grit your teeth and reach out to pick up the phone. See, I told you, there's no point. Hello? You finally decided to answer my call? Well, there was no decision. It was kind of forced, you know. Hearing your voice makes me happy. Who are you? Do you know me? And why are you calling me look at the public phone really wanting to hang up <sighs> don't hang up darling i'm here to help you did she just read his mind how the hell help me if you want to help me let me call my adjutant or the mbcc instead of hogging the line you should talk more i like your voice take Good care of it. Take good care of yourself. Let this voice echo in your mind, in your heart, in the whole wide world. <laughs> Would it be problematic if he just whipped his cock out and fucking jacking off there, right there, and pull a fucking like Omegle or something? Uh, like fucking uh, on the phone, you like, oh, yeah, keep talking, keep talking, and then fucking fucking bust, just bust one. <laughs> that would be actually hilarious. I actually really would have liked that if there was an option. Like that would be completely breaking the character. This is not the character, the sort of character we are playing as the MBCCG, but that would be hilarious. I mean, she wants to go down that route. We might as well have some fun. <laughs> okay. Hello? Hello? The call is terminated and a dial tone emits from the receiver. I hate this sort of sound. You're still in shock and your ears are still ringing. Oh man, someone dropped Kool-Aid on us. Fucking uh, Grimace nutted on the fucking booth. You hang up the phone, remaining, remaining in the phone booth to calm down for a while. After observing your surroundings and finding nothing strange, you slowly retract your shackles. Was it a prank? Does this look like a prank? The door of the phone booth clicks and unlocks. You quickly push the door open, intending to rush back to the bureau to find out who's playing the tricks on you, but as you step out, you realize something is wrong. You're in an alternate dimension. Oh no. We have been pulled into Silent Hill. Holy shit. We basically got the internet version of 2077 at the same time Silent Hill. That is insane. Even the audio soundtrack sounds reversed or something. A strong sense of discomfort hits you head on. The street lights cast a strange purple glow. The occasional flickering signal fault distorts the building and lights before returning to normal. But for you, what's even more disturbing is the strong mania enveloping the area. This is troubling because the description said that uh, 11's power is like a jammer, like a fucking signal disruption or something. This does not look like signal disruption. She basically created a fucking advanced version of Silent Hill or something. 
This place is a world constructed entirely by mania. That's insane. <laughs> 